What's up guys and welcome to today's video where we are going to be going over the Fractal Defined 7XL. This bad boy over here is a monster in terms of storage capabilities, which is perfect for something like Chia farming, which you need as many drives as possible. So this is an eATX case. What that means is it fits extended ATX motherboards. So you can fit a dual processor motherboard in here or a Threadripper system without any problems. It's a, about a $200 case, and I think for that price point, there's nothing else better that I can find, especially something that is in stock now. So the first thing is the side panels. Everything is a solid built uh, case. It doesn't have too much flex or anything like that, but with it, everything does come apart fairly easily. So the side panel in the back there is a little tab that you pull and the entire side panel comes off. Now there are a couple variants of this case. I opted for the solid black silent chassis, which it does have some silent noise deadening uh, foam type material in here and on the back. So um, it also has that on the, on the top also which I'll show you, you can swap out if you really want to for more airflow. So the, it's, it's pretty great because of that, specifically the ability to change things. Now, if you do want, you can opt for the clear side panel and you can look at your drives and their splendor as you farm Chia. Um, you can take off the entire top panel if you take off the back portion here. So you take off this, side panel also and then the front of the case we'll turn that over so you guys can see that it's also big and metal it slides open or it swings open i should say and it shows you a bunch of the fan grates here now you can remove these fan gate grates if you want to uh, it allows for optional like cleaning and things like that it does have support for up to th uh, four 120 millimeter fans up front or three 140 millimeter fans. You can also fit fans on the top of the case and on the bottom of the case as well. So as far as airflow goes, this thing is great. It will keep your drives nice and cool. Uh, you can take off the front panel just by popping it off like that. And this also allows for easy cleaning of all the components. There is a giant filter at the bottom of this case, so you don't have to worry about dust getting into the case, because it is a pain to clean up. But with all these filters, you can clean up the case fairly simple. So now that you've taken off the front and the two sides, you can pop off the top, which just clicks right off. And that shows you kind of the modularity of this case. So turn it over here, and there is another panel up on the top. Super easy to clean this case. Um, all the side panels pop right off, not hard to put on, take off. Now, when you purchase this case, it will come with three fans. You have a big 140 in the back, and you have two 120s in the front. You can swap it out in the back for a 120 if you want. Um, you can take that 140 and throw it in the front or something. Or I would say it's probably best to keep that 140 in the back and then just add another one or two fans up front for better airflow. You can add four 120s up front or on top also, or three 140s. So you can have airflow coming in and leaving the top if you opt for the mesh top panel which is included in the box actually. So it's pretty nice. You can choose if you want a complete silent build or if you want an airflow focused build. Now, 
what I'm planning to do with Chia, as you can see here, there's a ton of space. So I'm going to be adding my motherboard here and this entire rack over here is going to be converted into hard drive storage. So this plate actually unscrews. If I were to get a screwdriver, I can unscrew this entire plate. You can unscrew this front portion of the shroud and add two fans here also for even more cooling. Um, this case is awesome if you're going to be doing like a custom liquid cooled build or anything like that. So if you plan to use it for any of that stuff, go ahead. It's a solid case. It's great for these sorts of things and the storage capability is insane. You can fit 18 hard drives and five solid states at the same time. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip this over to the back. As you can see here, you have another shroud. This is all for cable management. If you pull it off, it just snaps right off and you pull it out. And you can see there is even more drive storage down here. So there are two chassis for drive storage with four sleds. And then if you unscrew this portion, you get another uh, little black divider. And that divider essentially goes up front and it turns this section here into a hard drive cage where the airflow from the fans hits the, the hard drives directly. And if you set fans down here, you can have airflow coming in and going straight down out of the case, or you can do airflow coming up and out the front, depending on the orientation that you have your case, or you can do what I had earlier, which is the airflow coming in from the front, going out through the top. Now you can set the case on its side, up or down, you know, however you want. Um, it also comes with these cool little bays here. Um, if you unscrew these, you can put a hard drive onto here or a solid state onto here, and you can kind of mount them wherever you want on the case. So that is really awesome. Another awesome thing with this is, like I mentioned, it comes with fans, but not only does it come with fans, it also has a fan controller built in up here. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it, so I'm gonna try and bring it up closer here for you guys to see. But as you can see, there is a fan controller right here, which allows you to plug in a metric butt ton of fans. So for $200, this might be the best bang for buck Chia case, because not only do you get fans, fan controller, and the ability for 18 hard drives, and actually more if you wanna get creative. There's a video from Linus where he screws in the hard drives up here and foregoes the fans. You could add more. Another thing you can do, if you go with the option of a normal uh, case or a normal power supply and a normal uh, motherboard, like a normal ATX, not EATX, you're gonna have free room here. If you really want to get creative, you can add some more hard drives here with the custom 3D uh, hard drive cage, which is another point of top or another topic of conversation. The hard drive cages, these hard drive sleds that you have down here. Due to the pandemic, there is no supply for these extra hard drive slides. So you're going to be, oh man, I bought this awesome case, but I can't put hard drives in it because I can't buy the drives or the drive sleds from Fractal. Well, guess what? Because of the awesomeness of this case, a bunch of people have created 3D printed replicas of the drive sleds and they work perfectly fine. All you need to do is buy a couple thumb screws, which you could probably buy from Amazon. You buy like 50 of them for a couple dollars. So I'd say that's pretty great, especially since the Fractal ones are about $15 a piece. So it does get pretty expensive to buy those slides. Now 3D printing them, I think they're only gonna cost a couple dollars in plastic and time on a 3D printer. I am going to be 3D printing a couple of them because I plan to use this entire section for hard drives. So if that's something that you guys want, let me know. Um, if you want me to give you guys uh, the 3D printing file, or if you would like me to print them for you and sell them, I guess that's something that I can do. It's not something I plan to do, but if there's enough people wanting this, I guess I'll do it. Or if anybody else wants to do it, go for it. I just want to tell you guys about it. I'm not here to sell that to you. 
uh, unless you really want me to. So, as I said, I'm going to take this, this bay out, fill it with drives. I'm going to scooch these up here, these uh, hard drive slides, and I'm going to see if I can add another hard drive into the case. I haven't decided yet if I plan to add my uh, motherboard processor and whatnot in here, or if I want to mod it to add even more drive. I do have something to allow this to work, and let me grab it and I will show you. So what I have to make this thing into a hard drive beast without needing a motherboard specifically dedicated to drives is this and this. This is a SAS HBA card, and this is a SAS expander. Normally, every one of these slots has four lanes, meaning you can plug in four drives, whether that be SATA or SAS. So here we have 16. Now, if you get one of these SAS expanders, you can connect one port to the one port here and get every single one of these ports, except for one of them, to work as a four lane bay. So as you can see here, we have four here, four here, four here, and here, and here, and here. It's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go over that in a video later in the future explaining HBA cards, what they are, and how to use them. But I just wanted to show you guys how I'm planning to use this case. And using these HBA cards is the way for me to do it. I anticipate putting in one of the cards up here, running some PCI power from maybe a riser cable that I have for my other mining rigs, uh, hooking it up to a normal power supply, and that way I might just fill this whole thing with hard drives. Like it literally might just be a case full of hard drives. I've already started designing some 3D printed um, cases that would fit vertically in here and screw into the top. That way I can fit probably like 40 something drives in here. Um, the only thing is I would cut out this section here. That way there's enough room for maybe two of these, like so, which would give me a butt ton of drives. And this goes into my main plotting machine uh, because it's going to do farming and plotting and it's going to use SAS to expand everything. And since I'm using this, I can technically have four of these expanders on this one. Uh, there might be a bottleneck, but honestly, with Chia, it doesn't really matter. Now, if you see this and are like, holy crap, this might be a great Plex system or a great NAS system, right? You're not wrong. This would be a great NAS system. So if you ever get out of Chia and want to reuse your drives and not sell them, this would make perfect for a NAS box, uh, especially with these HBAs, hooking them up to a computer. Um, you don't even need to put a computer in here. You can just straight up run them to a different machine and use it as a drive storage machine. Uh, or if you decide to put something like a Ryzen 3 or a Ryzen 5 or whatever you're plotting with, if you have a Ryzen 7 or a Ryzen 9, might be a little bit overkill for a NAS, uh, especially when Plex has like hardware transcoding, you could stick a graphics card in there. But for uh, Chia mining, this is a pretty awesome case. Now, as far as cost to drives go, it is about $11 per hard drive that you can fit in it without modification. So we have 18 hard drives, 18 three and a half inch hard drives that fit in here. And the case is about $200. It's about $11 per hard drive for this entire case, which honestly, I don't think is bad. If you find the USB adapters on Amazon, you can see like a four bay one going for like 40 to $50. Um, for $40, you're slightly cheaper, but for $50, it's going to be more expensive going that route. Not only is it more expensive, you don't get these awesome fans. Um, you also don't have all this extra room for expansion in the future or modification or the option to use it for a different computer in the future. If, if you stop mining Chia, if you're done with mining Chia, 
and want to reuse those USB adapters that you get from Amazon, well, there's not really too much you're going to be doing with them other than maybe reselling them on Facebook or Craigslist or whatever. But that, in a nutshell, has been this case. It has plenty of support for modifications and additions and liquid cooling and all sorts of crazy things that you don't even need. But for Chia, it's a pretty great case. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and some comments down below if you have any questions. Remember to like and subscribe if that's your thing. And we'll catch you in the next video.